I'm going to show you how you can edit viral YouTube Shorts with the help of AI. With this method, you will be able to edit YouTube Shorts with subtitles, B-roll footage, GIFs, music, transitions, emojis, in only two minutes. And my loyal viewers will probably already notice that this is going to be an expansion on a previous video. And don't worry you will understand everything even if you didn't see this video. Let's quickly recap this. Previously in AI Apocalypse. These faceless YouTube channels are making serious money by creating YouTube shorts from other people's long-form content. I have made over 100 of the same YouTube shorts with just one simple click. So, in this video, I showed you that there are a lot of monetized shorts channels that simply create YouTube shorts with subtitles from other people's long-form content. I received a lot of comments saying that it is going to be very hard to monetize these kinds of shorts because you are simply reusing this content without putting an effort to edit it. And I totally agree. That's why, at the end of that video, I gave a disclaimer that if I were to use this method, I would add some more elements to it, like B-roll footage for instance. In this video, I will be showing you how you can properly edit these shorts in only two minutes, so you can start your own faceless YouTube shorts channel and begin earning serious money. Let's get started. All right. So we are going to Pictory.ai again. We will be using the edit videos using text feature. Click on proceed to get started. Pictory has made it very easy to get started with this feature. The only thing you need to do is copy and paste the link from the video into Pictory. So let's look for a video we can use. If you have ever scrolled through YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels, you have probably heard of Andrew Tate. Recently, he had to go to prison. And now there is a podcast because he got released. This podcast is extremely popular. However, it is almost five hours long, which is too long for Pictory since the maximum length for a premium account is three hours. So let's look for a highlights video to work with. All right, copy and paste the link into Pictory. Select how many speakers are in the video and hit proceed. Pictory will now upload and transcribe the video. As you can see, Pictory has transcribed the whole video. The idea behind this feature is that you can use the transcribed text to edit the video. You can delete parts of the video by deleting parts of the text. You can automatically remove filler words and silences to make it more fast-paced, add subtitles, b-roll footage, and much more. Pictory even has an AI that can scan the video and automatically summarize it with the auto-highlight feature. In a previous video about the edit videos using text feature, I showed you how to use the auto highlight feature to easily create over 100 shorts with just a few clicks. However, this time we won't use that. You will find out why in a minute. First, let's change the aspect ratio from landscape to portrait, and I'm going to remove any silence longer than one second so the shorts are more fast paced. Now. What you want to do is manually determine the parts you want to use for the shorts because we will need them separately. Let me show you. You'll have to listen to the video to determine the part you want to make into a YouTube short. When you have found a part you like, select the corresponding text and click on Add to Highlights. As you can see, Pictory has added it to the highlight section of the video. What you could do at this point is to select all the highlights and download them as separate clips. This is the fastest way to download clips for editing shorts in a separate program, like for instance Premiere and CapCut. Alternatively, you can select the text and click on Download Video. Pictory will then download the whole part as one clip. This way, you can insert a video from YouTube and have multiple shorts ready for editing in a separate program within minutes. However, we don't want to use a separate program. So let me show you how you can edit these clips in Pictory itself. Select the part you want to use, click on Add to Highlights, and select Customize Video. Pictory will divide the selected part of the video into smaller scenes. On the left side, you can see the text, and in the bottom right, you see all the separate scenes that belong to the text. Sometimes, you will see link icons on the left, indicating that the scenes are linked to each other because they are part of one sentence. If I were to replace one of these scenes with a piece of B-roll footage, it would replace every link scene with the same part of the footage. And for those who don't know what I mean by B-roll footage, it refers to mostly stock footage used to enhance videos. So, for instance, 
Andrew is talking about his court appearance. He mentions this in the third scene, which is linked to the others. I would like to add some B-roll footage starting from this scene. To do that, I need to undo the link by simply clicking on it. Now, the only parts linked to each other are scenes 3, 4, 5, and 6. If I change the footage of scene 3, where he mentions going to court, it will only affect scenes 3 to 6. Let me show you. To add B-roll footage, go to the visual section and search for, in this case, the keyword court. Select the desired footage, and you'll see that it replaces the standard footage in scenes 3, 4, 5, and 6 of the interview. Scene 2 still has the original footage, and scene 3 has the B-roll. You can add a transition between these two scenes to make the video more dynamic. Select Add Transition between the scenes and choose the one you like. Now, go back to the text and quickly read it to find other parts where you can add B-roll footage. For example, they talk about Andrew flying with his private jet. Again, go to Visuals and search for Jet. I will do the same for the last part, but this time searching for plane crash footage. Next, let's change the subtitles to make them more readable. Many people watch shorts without sound, so it's important that the subtitles are easily legible. Select the subtitles and place them in the center. You can use the grid tool in the top toolbar to position the subtitles precisely where you want them. Make them slightly larger and choose a more interesting font. I'm setting the titles to all caps since it's a common style. You can change the color of the subtitles. I'm going to use yellow for a more attention-grabbing effect. For the background color, I'll leave it black but reduce the opacity to around 60% to give a subtle see-through effect. This is visually pleasing for viewers. I'll also add an animation to the text. You can choose how the animation will appear when the text starts or ends, but I'm only using the entry animation. Let's select the fade in and slide up animation, adjust the speed, and we're done. Now select apply to all, so it will be used in the entire video, and save this subtitle style as a preset. This way, Pictory will save the subtitle style, and for the next short, you can simply apply the same style with one click. Now, let's search for a soundtrack to overlay on the video. I suggest spending a few minutes finding a few soundtracks you like. Pictory has over 10,000 copyright-free songs you can use. If you have to search for a new track every time, it will take a while. When you find a track you like, select the heart icon to save it as a favorite. I've already found one, so I'll use that. Select Apply and adjust the volume to your liking. Now, click on Preview to see if everything meets your expectations. When this is all over and I win the court case and I get the not guilty, I, I won't be smiling. I'll be walking out the courtroom with my head on the swivel. <laughs> That's the kind of life I'm living now. I'm going to be thinking, oh, okay, so their second attempt failed. Now what? Like, do I want to fly private anymore? <laughs> do I want to go that place anymore? Do, like, you start to think about yeah. these things. Like, do I want to do these things? A lot of billionaires die, dying in plane crashes. It's strange. Lovely. When you're satisfied, click on download. And within a minute or so, the video will be ready. Now, let me show you one more example to enhance it even further. Click on previous. Pictory will mention that all your changes will be lost. This is the only downside but also the upside of this method. Let me explain what I mean with this. For this method, I suggest the premium plan, as it allows you to transcribe three hour long videos in one go and provides 20 hours of transcription per month, compared to the standard plan's one hour long videos and 10 hours of transcription. Nonetheless, you can work with either plan, but let's assume you have the premium subscription. You can choose to make 60 videos with a maximum length of 20 minutes. 220 videos with a maximum length of 5 minutes, or any other combination in between. However, when you download a short using the method I showed you, it doesn't count as one video. The transcribed video is considered as the one video you're working on. So you can create as many videos as you want from one podcast or interview. You are only limited by the maximum transcription hours. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to create over 100 shorts from a two-hour long podcast. So, it's reasonable to expect around 50 shorts from a one-hour podcast. Multiply that by 20, and you can make approximately 1,000 shorts per month using this method for only $39. That's excellent value for money if you ask me. 
Additionally, if you use my link and promo code mentioned in the description, you'll get a 20% discount on your entire order until you cancel. Moving on, click on Confirm. Now, go to the Highlights section. Select All Highlights and click on Unhighlight. Scroll through the text and go to the next part you've chosen for your short. Once again, select the text, click on Add to Highlight and go to Customize Highlights Video. Again, let's add some B-roll footage. For this part, I have something special in mind. They talk about Andrew potentially being in jail for days or even years. I'll unlink these parts, but instead of going to visuals, I'll go to elements. Here, you can choose from all common emojis, various stickers, and even GIFs. Pictory has collaborated with Giphy, the largest online database of GIFs. For those unfamiliar, GIFs are short looping videos, like this one, and this, and this one. Well, you get the point. Let's search for a clock, scale it up, and place it at the bottom of the video. For the part about being in jail for years, I'm looking for something more dramatic. So let's search for aging. Once again, scale it up and place it at the bottom of the video. Add one more piece of B-roll, and this part is complete. At the branding section of Pictory, you can easily add a custom intro and outro to every video. However, since we're making shorts, and we want to maintain a high viewer retention, we don't want that. What we do want is to include our logo in the videos. You've probably seen people copying and pasting other people's shorts. By putting your own channel name or logo in the video, this won't happen as frequently. Go to the scene section and select upload logo. Choose where you want the logo to be displayed and adjust its size to your preference. Once again, add some music. And last but not least, select the subtitle preset we created in the previous short under styles and apply it to all scenes. Let's have a look. Jail was terrible and I was miserable inside of the jail cell. It's a good thing depression isn't real because I would have been depressed. And I think the scariest thing about jail was the uncertainty of it all. If they would have said to me, you're in jail for 92 days or even five years, you've got five years. Cool, I do my time. But when you're nabbed, and thrown in a cell without charge, you're like, well, how long, is this my life? Is this it now? Is this the end of the story? So as you can see, this is by far the fastest way to create high quality YouTube shorts that have at least the impression that there has gone a lot of effort into them. In the intro, I said, you could do this within two minutes. And I have put this to the test and I managed to make one with subtitles and B-roll in two minutes and 16 seconds. And I can guarantee you can do it even faster with a bit of practice. There has gone a lot of effort into this video, so I would highly appreciate it if you liked and subscribed so I can make more of these videos for you. Until next time.